Good morning. Welcome to Worship with Pleasantville Presbyterian Church. This morning service is for the in-between time, the time between Christmas and New Year's when we contemplate what's next in our life of faith. This morning we invite you into an opportunity to slow down and be fed by the Word of God, beautiful music, and words of meditation and contemplation. Come, let us worship our living God. It is not over by Anne Weems. It is not over this birthing. There are always newer skies into which God can throw stars. When we begin to think that we can predict the advent of God, that we can box the Christ in a stable in Bethlehem, that's just the time that God will be born in a place we can't imagine and won't believe. Once in from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, looking forward to the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Guided by the Spirit, Simeon came into the temple And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what was customary under the law, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God, saying, Master, now you are dismissing your servant in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the presence of all peoples, a life for revelation to the Gentiles and for glory to your people Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One, two, three. Oh, the star to Bethlehem. 
Gospel of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light which enlightens everyone was coming into the world. John chapter 1, beginning with verse 10. He was in the world, 
and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, he who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of the blood or the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. This is an excerpt from Maya Angelou's Continue. Into a world which needed you, my wish for you is that you continue. Continue to be who and how you are to astonish a mean world with your acts of kindness. Continue to allow humor to lighten the burden of your tender heart. Continue in a society dark with cruelty to let the people hear the grandeur of God in the peals of your laughter. Continue to remind the people that each is as good as the other and that no one is beneath nor above you. Continue to remember your own young years and look with favor upon the lost and the least and the lonely. Continue to let gratitude be the pillow upon which you kneel to say your nightly prayer. And let faith be the bridge you build to overcome evil and welcome good. Continue to ignore no vision which comes to enlarge your range and increase your spirit. Continue to dare to love deeply and risk everything for the good thing. Continue to float happily in the sea of infinite substance, which sets aside riches for you before you had a name. Continue, and by doing so, you and your work will be able to continue eternally.
So friends, 2021 is about to be here. No one that I know personally had any idea what 2020 would bring. And that makes us even more sure that we don't know what 2021 will be like either. But there are some things we do know. We do know that no matter what, God is with us. We do know that nothing can ever separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. We know that Jesus tells us to love God with all our heart and with all our soul and with all our mind. We know that Jesus tells us to love our neighbors as ourselves. We know that the Lord is our shepherd. We know that love is patient and kind. We know that we are known by God. May we enter this next year ready to stand in our identity as children of God, walking in love and light. And whatever we do, in all that we do, in all that we are, may we do it in the name of Christ Jesus our Lord. Now let us go forward from this place, certain in our knowledge of the love of God, the peace of Christ Jesus, and the communion of the Holy Spirit, now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. No.